my name's Rob. Um, this morning I just bought a transit van and I'm going to be converting it into a home basically. Well look who's back. Hello guys and girls. Um, I've not been doing much in here for quite some time uh, as you've noticed from the no videos. Um, basically what's happened was uh, I'll get over this quick just to fill you in but um, I was offered voluntary redundancy uh, where I was working uh, I'd been there for 10 years um, but given what was going on in the industry and stuff uh, I decided to take it and uh, I've been kind of struggling to find work since then uh, at the moment I'm still unemployed so um, it is now the 2nd of September I think See, when you don't go to work, you don't even know what day it is. I think it's Sunday. Um, but anyway, uh, I've got an interview tomorrow and Tuesday. Yeah, 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 it is tomorrow and Tuesday. Um, completely different line of work. Uh, I've been working in offices since I left school. Uh, and these jobs are for driving. So, whole new career. Back to the van. Like I said, haven't really done much. Um, I've been trying to sort out all the bits for the gas. Uh, there's been a slight change of plan. Uh, for now at least, I'm not putting in the hot water heater um, just because it's another damn job and I just want to get this done uh, so yeah, we're trying to get the gas stuff in and settled that's why I'm messing around with my regulator here with a bit of copper pipe on I'll explain what's going on with that in a minute um, but yeah, I think the only other thing since my last video is I've installed the heater and that's about it oh and I bought a toilet, a chemical toilet um, yeah so let's get cracking on again. So this is the plan for the gas setup. We've got our LPG filler cap or filler nozzle there um, attached to a one and a half meter uh, stainless steel braided hose which goes over here to our 11 kilo gas low uh, bottle. Refillable of course. Uh, as you can see here it's got, well it's empty obviously. <laughs> uh, so yep, that goes into there. I need a blanking cap for one of the, well, for this top one. As it's got two points for filling for some reason, as you can see here. No idea why that is. Uh, it comes back out into this also stainless steel braided hose, uh, half a meter, into our proper gas low uh, caravan regulator, and then it gets a bit funky. Um, we had to use some copper pipe just to change this from a 10mm uh, connection and then it just goes to this little converter which goes from 10mm uh, these are both compression fittings by the way uh, from 10mm to a one quarter BSP thread which this can fit on which I'm just fitting now and in between these fittings I mean you can see it here this white stuff is this gas spec kind of Teflon tape and that just helps uh, prevent leaks in the connections. This one's got it on the actual uh, little ring inside for the compression fitting. You can see a little bit sticking out on the side there. But for this one, I'm actually going to put it around the thread here and put this on. Uh, this is a one quarter BSP to eight mil Fulham nozzle. Over here, we just look at the connections. We've got some uh, eight mil hose. That's where the hose from the pipe's going to, or from the regulator is going to connect there. And this is obviously the back of the little cooker oven thingy. And if I zoom in down the bottom, you can see the other end of the hose goes into our, our heater. So I still need to cut a gas dropout vent at the bottom there. And I need to do so this side with the bottle as well. But I just want to make sure that I've got my regulator and everything in place so I can get the best possible position for the dropout vent over here. Okay, so as a quick example, we're going to attach our Fulham nozzle on here. Um, with our Teflon tape, our gas spec Teflon tape. So, all you do is just pop a little bit on there. Uh, we want to make sure we obviously don't cover up the the hose, uh, the, the actual hole at the end, sorry, not the hose. So we go around, so you take it around twice at least. Okay, and then you can just stretch it off and it will snap there you go you can already see the thread poking through 
take our connection and then just start screwing it on. Yep. Wow, this is a lot more difficult when there's a camera holding right anyway. And then we just tighten it up. Now unfortunately I didn't put any of the funky Teflon tape on the connection on the side of my heater. So I've now got to try and get to that, take that off, unscrew it, Teflon tape it, put it back together. Ugh. But better safe than not live to regret I suppose. I neglected to talk about the actual gas hose that we're going to use. Uh, here it is, high pressure LPG 8mm. Um, and for cutting these, I mean you can use a knife. Um, but really you want to get your hands on one of these things, uh, literally not even four pounds on eBay. And super simple, you just put your hose in the, in the little gap there and not quite like that, but as you can see it cuts it, cuts a nice straight line. So when you uh, put it onto the old Fulham nozzles, it fits right up to the edge of, edge of the fitting and there's less chance of leaks. Wednesday 5th of September, uh, welcome to the Chaos Corner. Um, I've just started drilling out the holes for the gas fittings and such. Uh, I've done the drop out vent here, uh, which the hose is feeding out from to the outside. I was just about to start cutting the um, cutting the hole for the uh, the nozzle fitting housing, this bit, on the outside. And it's uh, sort of started to threaten to rain. So I'm just going to wait and decide what the weather's going to do. And while that's happening, I'll drill out my other drop out vent down here. Um, as soon as I find a space I can do that down there. So, yeah, uh, hopefully it will not rain. Okay, there's the second uh, dropout vent drilled in. And from underneath we have hole number one. And across over by the wheel arch, we have hole number two. <sighs> okay, it's now nearly 10 to 10 at night. I've finally managed to get the nozzle on. There it is. What a nightmare job that was. Now I've got some daylight, I can actually show you the filler cap properly for the gas. There she be. And it's right here next to the sliding door. And it goes into the bowl. Okay guys and girls, you catch me out here late on a Sunday night. Um, I've put the uh, kind of mesh, aluminium mesh stuff at the bottom of the um, gas dropout vents so that will stop any like, rats or anything climbing through there. Um, other than that it's all set up ready for the bottle to be filled. Um, I'm waiting all my safety equipment to turn up now. I've ordered a uh, gas alarm, uh, CO2 alarm, smoke alarm, fire blanket and fire extinguisher. So wait for them to turn up, we'll get the gas bottle filled up, get the thing checked um, and see if it works. But that'll all be in the next video I'm afraid, because I know you've all been my, like dying to get another video um, out of me, and it's been a long time. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for the comments, uh, thank you to everyone who's subscribed and who's been waiting all this time for another video. Uh, it's, it's just great, it's good to see, so yeah, cool. Um, but yeah, until the next video, see ya!